Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croy Dragon, and welcome back to Microsoft Oceans, finishing up Zorka's tours today with a perplexing planet. The relationships among the different forms of life on this planet are quite perplexing. Most curious of all are the land-dwelling creatures known as humans. They are constantly waging war against the other creatures on Earth. These humans capture great numbers of sea creatures. Some they consume to gain their energy, others apparently their enemies. They simply kill and discard. A very distressing tendency. Click my picture to continue this report. Mm-hmm. Humans often inundate sea creatures with poisons and debris. This can be very effective in annihilating their enemies. But do the humans not see that this practice harms themselves as well? Some humans use their underwater craft to venture deep into the sea. Do they seek knowledge or more prey species? It is unclear. Perhaps they seek their lost possessions on the ocean floor. They seem to hunger for shiny minerals and antiquated objects, as well as for ocean creatures. Mm -hmm. These humans have an astounding capacity for destruction. Why? Perhaps they seek to emulate the explosive power of their planet which at times erupts in violent displays of superheated gases and molten rock. Most perplexing. A few members of the Order Cetacea have taken it upon themselves to educate humans. These are brave souls indeed, given the fierce nature of their students. That's not exactly accurate, but okay. The cetaceans report that humans are exceedingly difficult to train and can only comprehend the simplest messages. I am glad we do not face such a challenge on our home planet. This concludes my report. To observe more information I have gathered in my travels, choose another tour from my screen, or you may voyage independently. This is Zarka, wishing you clean water and good health. And that's it for Zarka's tours. I'm Brian Quartragon signing out. Stay straight.